Talk about a conspiracy theory. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, this may be the most thoroughly investigated car crash ever. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 conspiracy theories that were officially investigated. Much of what fueled the panic was not real. These claims led to a wave of high-profile criminal trials in the U.S., Canada, and beyond. For this list, we'll be looking at the craziest and most well-known conspiracy theories that were actually investigated by an institutional body. Do you buy into any of these conspiracies? Why or why not? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Korean Airlines Flight 007 During the Cold War, tensions were high between the United States and the Soviet Union. This tension resulted in the tragic downing of Korean Airlines Flight 007. It doesn't seem possible that the Soviets would actually shoot down a passenger plane. But American officials have little doubt. The airplane was flying from Alaska to Seoul when it went down in the Sea of Japan, killing everyone on board. No official cause was given, spawning numerous conspiracy theories. Initially, Soviet officials deny responsibility for the KAL disaster. The story came out of Moscow was that the plane appeared, we intercepted it, tried to make it stop, it didn't, it flew away. An investigation was launched by the International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, and while the Soviet Union claimed that it was innocent, it hid important evidence from the investigative committee. For example, the recovered flight recorder was kept secret, which only fueled further conspiracies. Top Soviet officials are hiding the fact that one month after the incident, not only did they find the wreckage, they also found the all-important black boxes. Regardless, the ICAO blamed the Soviet Union. It later admitted that it was them, having shot the plane down after it drifted into prohibited airspace. Number 9. Princess Diana The tragic demise of Princess Diana was one of the biggest news stories of the late 20th century. Diana died from the results of a horrible car crash on August 31st, 1997, at the age of 36. Now we can report that the British Foreign Secretary Robin Cook, speaking in the Philippines, has just confirmed that Diana, Princess of Wales, has died following the car crash at midnight in Paris. To this day, some conspiracies remain regarding Diana's death, like the royal family allegedly planning the event. Numerous investigations have been undertaken, not only to study Diana's death, but to dispute the numerous conspiracy theories. You believe there was a conspiracy? To Definitely, kill Dodie. they been murdered. Dodi and Diana been murdered. Definitely. A French investigation put sole responsibility on the inebriated driver Henri Paul. The British Metropolitan Police also opened Operation Paget with the hopes of conducting their own independent investigation. But now Scotland Yard is looking into a new claim that Princess Diana and her boyfriend Dodi Fayed were actually murdered by British Special Forces 16 years ago this month. Blame was again placed on Paul and the pursuing paparazzi. Neither investigation blamed the royal family. Number 8. The Satanic Panic Religious moral panics may seem like a thing of the distant past, but it was occurring as recently as the 1980s. And at the height of the craze, you basically couldn't open up the newspaper or turn on the news without hearing about subliminal messages hidden in rock music, pagan symbols and cartoons, or criminal trials involving teachers engaging in human sacrifice. People were very concerned about the influence of Satan throughout the decade, and some were convinced that the country, maybe even the world, was falling under the control of a powerful satanic cult. Thousands of unsubstantiated rumors and accusations were made, with targets ranging from the influential elite to teenagers who played Dungeons and Dragons. Games like Dungeons and Dragons were luring kids to devil worship. Numerous investigations have studied the phenomenon. An official government report in the United Kingdom found no clear evidence that satanic rituals were taking place. And hundreds of independent investigations corroborate this finding. It was a moral panic and nothing else. But there was never any evidence of a satanic conspiracy. Number 7. Jimmy Hoffa's Disappearance A highly influential figure in the American Union movement, Jimmy Hoffa ran the International Brotherhood of Teamsters from 1957 to 1971. 
He disappeared on July 30th, 1975 and remains missing to this day. This is one of the great mysteries of the modern criminal world. This is one of the great mysteries in mafia history. What happened to Jimmy Hoffa? Where is Jimmy Hoffa buried? Hoffa and his union worked closely with organized crime, and as a result, the leading theory is that Hoffa was killed and his body disposed of. Since his disappearance for decades, tips have led federal investigators to dig up other reported burial sites, but no luck finding a body. An extensive investigation was undertaken by the FBI and other major law enforcement agencies, but they could not come to a definitive conclusion. But for the past 40 years, I've been trying to figure out what happened to this guy. This search, the latest in a series across Michigan, California, and New Jersey over the years. However, they and many historians agree with the leading conspiracy theory and believe that Hoffa was killed by the mafia and that his body was cremated. Number six, climate change. There are countless conspiracy theories regarding climate change. Some dismiss the claims as nothing to worry about. So this report states as an absolute fact that human influence is warming the climate. Um, and that's a very stark reminder um, that it is our activities which are changing the climate and affecting these extreme weather events. Some argue about specific details despite agreeing that climate change is occurring. Some even believe that climate change is being used as some kind of political or economic tool and that the so-called science is nothing but a hoax. Environmental experts have called it a massive wake-up call to governments to cut emissions. However, these conspiracy theories contradict virtually all scientific studies and reports. In 1988, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change was created to access the dangers. They have not only confirmed that climate change is real, but that we will face serious consequences if immediate steps are not taken to address it. Viable solutions are on the table, but scientists and experts are urging action now, not later. Number five, the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. On April 4th, 1968, civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. was shot at Memphis's Lorraine Motel and later died at the hospital. Here in Memphis, of course, a great deal of shock, a great deal of confusion, and a great deal of uh, uh, some violence. I can't say a great deal because I don't really know. I do know that uh, police are very concerned. The perpetrator was a man named James Earl Ray. That's the official story, but not everyone agrees on the latter detail. No, James Earl Ray says he did not kill Martin Luther King, that though he didn't know it at the time, he was involved in the conspiracy, but that he didn't pull the trigger. Even the King family believes that a greater conspiracy was behind the shooting and that Ray was not responsible. Did you kill my father? No, no, I didn't, no. And then King offered this. I believe you, and my family believes you, and we are going to do everything in our power to try and make sure that justice will prevail. In fact, a civil case called the Lloyd Jowers trial concluded in 1999 that King died as the result of a conspiracy. But this result has been met with intense criticism. The proceedings were investigated by the Department of Justice in 2000. They concluded that the trial was filled with flaws and fabrications, and they asserted that it had no historical basis. Number four, Project Blue Book. Throughout the late 1940s, the United States was undergoing a bit of a UFO craze. This was especially bolstered by the famous Roswell incident of 1947. In response, the United States Air Force officially investigated UFO phenomena. The United States Air Force, in discharging its responsibility for the aerospace defense of the nation, is called upon to investigate reports of unidentified flying objects. It was called Project Blue Book, and it lasted from 1952 to 1969. The investigation collected and analyzed over 12,000 reports, with about 700 remaining unexplained. The report includes more than 12,000 sightings made by military members and civilians. The rest were officially determined to be simple misidentifications of aerial objects like clouds and aircraft. Upon the conclusion of Project Blue Book, they reported that nothing was of definitive extraterrestrial origin. However, that hasn't stopped the UFO conspiracy theories from spreading to the present day. But there is a gaping omission in the files. There is no mention of the famed 1947 Roswell, New Mexico incident. So the truth may still be out there. Number three, Adolf Hitler's death. 
After concluding that Germany would lose World War II, Adolf Hitler took his own life on April 30, 1945, and his body was burned in the garden of the Reich Chancellery. Hitler's death is not announced by the Allies finding his body. Hitler's death is announced by the German government, by the Nazis. The problem with that is, this is one of the greatest propagandist nations ever to run the earth. The following month, dental records confirmed that Hitler was dead. However, Joseph Stalin and the Soviet Union spread misinformation and claimed that Hitler was still alive and that he had fled the country. Stalin told uh, the Allied leaders in Potsdam in July 1945 that Hitler escaped to Spain or Argentina. This has resulted in a major conspiracy theory that persists to this day. A major study was later conducted by West German officials, and they concluded that Hitler did indeed die on April 30, 1945. The conspiracy theory was also investigated by both the FBI and the CIA, but neither found evidence that Hitler had faked his death. The FBI officially closed the case on Hitler's death in 1956. Number 2. 9-11 like climate change, there are endless conspiracy theories centered around 9-11. I would have done a legitimate, a legitimate investigation to find out what exactly happened on 9-11. How did they know who did this so quickly? Some of the most prevalent are that the American government knew about the attacks in advance and that the towers collapsed from rigged explosions, not the impacts of the planes. Nearly every aspect of the attack has a conspiracy theory attached to it. Documentary Loose Change spoke to the disaffected, and its co-producer Corey Rowe was one of them. I saw a large disconnect between what the American people were being fed as far as the information in the Iraq war and what I had lived through firsthand. These disregard the findings published in the extensive report of the 9-11 Commission. Some of the conspiracy theories themselves, especially the idea of a controlled demolition, have been investigated by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. They were all resoundingly dismissed, and independent structural engineers have corroborated the findings. There's a lot of circumstantial claims, a lot of innuendo, a lot of whack-a-mole, which you explain one thing away and they mention something else, and it, it never ends. But the reality is, this far out, no one has been able to provide a single piece of evidence that those buildings were explosively demolished. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number one, the JFK assassination. The killing of President John F. Kennedy is one of the most debated events in American history. Kennedy was shot on November 22, 1963, purportedly by Lee Harvey Oswald. As their prime suspect, police seized 24-year-old Lee H. Oswald. Did you kill the president? No, I've not been charged with that. In fact, nobody has said that to me yet. However, the shooting has long been the subject of conspiracy theories, and a majority of Americans believe that some type of conspiracy was at play. Numerous official investigations have studied the assassination and have come to different conclusions. The controversial Warren Commission found that Oswald was the sole shooter. Conspiracies abound, and Dealey Plaza is full of people who spout the possibilities. No one has officially concluded anything different. Following their own investigation, the U.S. Justice Department agreed with the Warren Commission. Meanwhile, the United States House Select Committee on Assassinations concluded that at least two people were involved in the shooting. However, this finding has come under scrutiny and has since been discredited. I would like to think uh, that these documents would be a final answer where Americans could look at this case and say, OK, this is what happened. But realistically, that's never going to happen. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.